You're watching VH1's Eight Days of 80s, a week so big, we added an extra day. This year I was very nervous, and uh, Never Any Story is actually a very high song. Uh, it's sort of like a ballad with a beat, it's very unusual. So it's a turn around, look at what you see. And it might actually be higher than that, and you have to be really relaxed, because if you're tense, you can't sing, as Sonia will back me up on. And uh, I just couldn't really get it. But Georgia was like the consummate professional. Um, you know, so let's have some dinner, just chill out, don't worry about it. And he somehow got that across to me. And then we had a bit of wine mm -hmm. and uh, went back in the studio and, and did the vocal uh, quite easily, really. And then they called the next day and said, we're going to use it. But it, sometimes the, the, these hits are not that obvious. I mean, I got the cassette back home. It's true, it was just a, a, a rough mix off the desk in the studio, but... I, I listened to it, I thought, hmm, mm. it's not as good as other Georgia Moroda thing, mm -hmm. things that I've liked, say, like Flashdance for Irene Cara, yeah. who also did Fame, um, or uh, later on he did, um, or had he done it, I can't remember, Top Gun uh, movie theme. Uh, what was that song called? Uh, you Take My Breath Away. away. Mm -hmm. And, and I listened to it, and I thought, but I remember I had the same feeling when I listened to Too Shy. I mean, I didn't, you know. You can never tell, You can can't you? tell. Yeah. That's the moral to the story, folks. Here it goes. Never-ending story. us how well that song did around the world. Number one in 17 countries. Is that all? <laughs> that is fantastic. I was so busy, it was mad. I was flying from every single country in Europe to the other, just doing every country's version of Top of the Pops. And, uh, you know, the Radio 1 or the equivalent of. And then straight out the hotel onto a plane to the next 
turn. I just couldn't keep up with it. Wow. It was amazing. That must have been really exhausting, actually. It was exhausting, yeah, but... Was it good it fun, was, though? Well, it was, it was a solo hit, and after the band had fired me, mm. it was like me going... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was quite good timing, really. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Tragic. And probably this one oh here, because of the tie, the tie. Check out the tie. But there was a real kind of suit thing that happened in the 80s for guys as well. They all a wore and the kind thing. of like and real narrow ties. Pushed the sleeves up, didn't they? So they were yeah. rolled. Mm -hmm. And I mean, imagine wearing a suit with sneakers, which is what we were doing. The sleeves rolled up and sometimes not even a shirt. And it could have been a t-shirt. Yeah.